Ah, now that was a hit of nostalgia right there. Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. It's the first time I've really recorded for this thing in quite some time. But we, in case, I mean, you probably know at this point, are playing Super Smash Bros. Melee. Because actually, this game turns... 20? Yeah. I'm gonna say 20 sometime here later this month. I plan on doing a stream that day. And some of the people that I want to stream with want to play characters that aren't in the base game. So, I may as well use this as a chance to go ahead and unlock some of them before that gets started. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do for this. What I'm probably going to do at least is I'm going to unlock every character. I'm going to do every event match. You know, run through the stadium a little bit. It is possible if I decide to, I might try to go for classic for every character and adventure mode for every character. We'll see. For now, though, we're going to do the classic mode for Fox. Um, yeah, say what you will. He was actually my main back when I played this when I was a kid. This is the first Smash Bros. game I had, and I probably haven't, <clears throat> outside a little bit of preparation for this, I haven't really played the game since Brawl came out, so... I'm gonna suck. <laughs> Pikachu. Pikachu. Well, this is starting off... <clears throat> yeah, my throat is dying suddenly. I'm not sure why. Alright. We got Blastoise. We got two out of three starters, but not the best one. There we go. Easily done. <clears throat> uh. Um, I never remember what's up with the score in this game. Is it just for sake of comparison? I don't know. I'll figure that out at some point. Oh, my throat is bad. Alright, so. Going off against Bowser. Gotcha. Ness, pretty easily done. So, now the only thing to do is kill the native. I, I guess it kind of makes sense that I teamed up with Bowser for this. There we go. Out of the way. Alright. I am in no way planning on being even able to finish this. All right, there. Cool. No, nope, not quite. Oh, very good to know. Yeah, I imagine I'm going to need to train with these characters a lot more before I'm able to get through that. Zelda. <clears throat> All right. All right. So, yeah, I need to get better at talking during this. Um, Zelda, new character in Melee, even though I guess we haven't really touched 64 on the channel. And she has the special ability to um, turn into Sheik. And also apparently a special ability to just stunlock me. Yeah, there. That there's the Sheik transformation. Seriously? Well, good news is we have three lives, so I'm not going to worry about it. Yep, yeah, come here, come here. Oh, oh no. Oh, uh, that's rough. 
Why, why can I not? There, okay, picked it up. I am being very consistent with my ability to do smash attacks in this game. And this annoys me. Well, you tried to save yourself, I guess. Moving on. Yeah, that's not going to be too much of an issue. Yeah, just got to do that pretty much. I mean, it's a team of three. It's not... I mean, it's going to be a little bit harder to launch than usual, but not that much harder. Because there's enough of us dealing damage that... Where am I? There I am. Boom, there we are. Honestly, I was worried this is going to go very badly, so I am happy that's not turning out to be the case. Alright, trophies, where are you coming from? There. Oh. Um. Okay, that was not intended. <laughs> Looked like that one was actually going to go in, too, so I wish I could have stayed alive. I actually I almost did Captain Falcon as the first episode, but I ended up deciding against it. Because I actually played him, he's probably my most played character in Ultimate. And I feel like I'd have a hard time, uh... Oh, that was easy. Um, hard time remembering not to play him like he is in Ultimate, because I play him so much. So it'll probably actually be something I do quite a bit later. Just... Um, for the sake of, uh, you know, once I'm more used to the how melee works, really. I know every character is going to be different, but, you know, there's still a certain feeling this game has that isn't had by the others. And there went Wario. So... Okay, so there were still only four colors per character in this game, right? Oh, wait. I forgot. That's what this stage is. I actually loved this stage as a kid. I mean, not the, uh... Not the actual Mario 64 original, but... You know, the... The Smash stage. And honestly, the music is probably no small part in that. Yeah, I kind of ran a little close to the edge on that one. I mean, I'm actually already running pretty close on lives as it stands, so... Should be careful. Because I know I'm not going to have an easy time with Master Hand. That was a good one. good hit, though. I I find something hilarious about the noise Mario makes as he dies. Seriously. Yeah, let's do it. And I have to fight all of them again, don't I? Ugh. I really should have kept an eye on myself there. Because that was why I'd like to call a stupid death. Yeah. 
Boom. Perfect. I mean, honestly, Fox is great for a stage like this if you actually remember to keep an eye on things. Because he is probably the single most maneuverable character in this game. Alright, how hard is this one going to be? I feel like there is multiple finished doors that I could use. So let's see how far I can get. That was an accident. Didn't mean to go in there, but okay. Whatever works, I guess. Alright. It's gonna be an interesting one. And it's not going super well so far. And one thing I really noticed in the training is that Samus is like... Um, I want to call it a whip, but it's not really a whip. It's, uh... Her grapple beam is a lot, a lot better in this game than it probably has any right to be. <laughs> Actually, I'm not all that far behind her. But of course, she's metal, so it is going to be hard, harder to, you know, smash her off the stage. Like, I really have to hit her with a good smash attack. Okay, I don't know why his recovery didn't happen there, but... Come on. So, all right. Come on. You can do it. Alright, this should be fine. The problem is, Samus isn't a character that's going to approach you because she has... I mean, she can approach you, but she has mostly good range attacks. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'll continue. I'm not happy about it, but I'll continue. I mean, let's be honest, this is probably Fox's actual best move right there. So, yeah. I, actually, we are doing a lot better this round, so I'm not going to complain that much. Although I still died, so I'm going to complain about that. Yep, yeah, that's annoying. Yeah, I really can't stand too close to her for too long or else she's just going to do that and take back control of the situation. And I am getting... Seriously? I feel like I shouldn't have died there, but... I mean, I guess it's up to the game. <laughs> but yeah, that felt stupid. <sighs> Come on, don't fail on Metal Samus again. Just give a good smash. Why are you not giving smash attacks? Like, she's at 300%. I imagine if I get a good hit on her. Or that can happen. That is certainly something that could happen. Uh, 
All right, let's see how this goes. I still remember how cool this whole thing was as a kid. <sighs> yes, I'll continue. Thankfully, most of his attacks here are kept in later games. And it's going to be a lot more the simplistic attacks because of how much earlier this is in the series. So, since I know how to fight him in Ultimate, it's not going to be exactly the same, obviously, but hopefully I'll have an easier time fighting him in this game. Or at least than I usually would. Although there's one thing I am not good at, it's melee aerial. Yeah, I should have just used the quicker movement rather than the slower one. Alright. Alright. Down below 200 HP. Just as we get our first death, so we are really right on target. It would be better if we could be, you know, better than on target, but... Yeah, you know, I would prefer not to die in general. But I guess we died at a good time, for lack of a better word. I actually have a really hard time dodging that move in Ultimate, and I'm not sure why. I actually think Crazy Hand was in this game, but isn't it like you have to get to this boss fight without losing, like, without having to do any continues or something? Oh, we're down below 100 HP. I didn't even notice that. Okay, well, you know what? Can I deal 64 damage over the course of one life? Very easily. So just don't get cocky. It's only going to be a couple... One more hit. Come on, we can do it. There we are. Okay. That is done and over with. It could have been a lot better. But I am not super great at this game. <laughs> And hopefully that will change as we keep going through all the fighters. Alright, total score of 17,000. Oh, sorry, 170,000. My bad, very different. And here is our first trophy. Fox. Oh. Fred. Uh, this is where, um, so obviously I'm not recording this, um, yeah, I'm not recording this on actual, I mean, hardware. Actually, yeah, I'll just go ahead and speed up through it. Yeah, I'm not recording this on actual hardware, I'm recording this on the Dolphin, because it's easier to record that way, I don't want to hook up a GameCube and get all of that painful stuff done. Actually, his model looks a lot better than I was expecting in this game. I have to admit that. And what is that I was about to say? Um, yeah, so I'm actually using my DualSense controller. Uh, this game was not made for that. Especially that ending bit, so I should probably change it so it's not running on the buttons. But anyways, yes, our first foe has appeared for completing Classic Mode. Actually, the same way that you unlock Jigglypuff in Sma um, the original Smash, in Smash 64. 
hopefully I won't have too much issue with, you know, beating the balloon Pokemon. Yeah, probably just one more good hit like that. What did I say? Perfect. We've unlocked the Singing Wonder Jigglypuff. And we've cleared 1P Classic. We got the Fox McCloud Trophy. So that's where we're at. So just because I guess this is the first episode, we'll go and take a look at our collection. Yes, there's Fox. He is our only trophy. Actually, let's go jump in the lottery since we do have seven coins. Um, we're just going to put in one coin at a time. Okay, Bulbasaur, cool. Yeah, let's do this at the end of every episode. Caesar, it's going to be a lot of Pokemon, isn't it? <laughs> yep, Snorlax. How many trophies are in this game? I'll look that up before the next episode. Monster, that... Um, is that from Mario Kart or something? I know it said Mario and Luigi's name on it, but I don't actually know. Eevee, yet no Oh, that was... That was not a good face, Eevee. <laughs> Alright, Cyndaquil, good. And Home Run Bats. Alright, and I, that's uh, Earthbound. It's one of Ness's weapons. Cool, so that's that. I imagine we're mostly going to be getting new trophies for quite a while. So here's our updated collection. And then I'm not sure. I guess I'll let you guys decide in the comments. Do you want me to go through the gallery and read about every single one of these trophies that we get each day? Oh, 3D Hot Rally. I think I heard about this one, actually, when I was looking at the Mario Kart series for Deepest Lore. I haven't played it, though. So you yeah, have Fox McCloud. Fox McCloud is the leader of, the brand, of a band of adventurers for hire known as Star Fox. Fox and his fellow pilots, Peppy, Slippy, and Falco patrol the Lilat system and their mothership, the Great Fox. From, from the cockpit of his R-Wing, Fox leads the ceaseless pursuit of the evil scientist Andros, who doomed Fox's father. And, yeah, so... Oh, this is actually listening as being from Super Smash Bros., not necessarily from uh, Earthbound. Good to know. And then... Oh, Pokemon Gold and Silver... Out of zero trophies, that means there's a hundred trophies for gold and silver? I don't know. But yeah, there's that. And then here's our full trophy list. It shows how many of each trophy we have, because the game is cruel like that. And I don't think there's any reason to get multiples of any single trophy. But yeah, so that's that. That's our first episode, so thank you all for watching. Tell me what you want to see out of the series, what you want to see out of the trophies. And um, I'm still uploading Emerald. That'll be coming every other day until that series is finished. And yeah, they'll just kind of be switching off. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye.